So we're going to start playing with a producing an ex exclusive ore, but we're going to use three simple neurons to do this. Exclusive ore cannot be done with a single neuron, so we're going to do it in two stages, or three stages you could argue. We're going to do one neuron that's going to give us these outputs for these inputs. Same set of inputs are used for the second neuron to get this pattern. We then combine what we get from the two, these two neurons into a third one. So these, if we get it right, end up being our inputs. This neuron here, or when we build it, is going to be the one we do that on. And this is going to hopefully, by combining them, do this. Okay, so don't really mind. Let's put some weights in to start with. We'll alter those in a minute. So what we're first going to do is we're going to create our weighted term. So we're going to have the bias plus our Weight one times input one. For, I don't want to have to copy out my weights. I only want to change them once. And so I'm going to fix the position of the weights as I go along by putting the dollar signs in. So now I've got. Wait, F2 in this case times X2. Again, I'm going to fix that weight. Okay, so we get our first weighted sum for our first set of inputs. I'm just going to copy that. So now it should deal with the others. Okay, so now let's that's the first part that I waited some. Let's build the second part, the hard limit a bit, which says we take our weighted sum, if it's greater than or equal to zero, then we get a one out, otherwise it's a zero. I'm just going to copy that rule. So I'm after now getting this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the weights a little bit. So I already tried, tried the bias. One trick that we can use is because I, I know I'm only after a one here. I can build the neuron so that it does when x1 is zero and uh, x2 is one. We get oh, we get and them together. That can lead us to that. Will hopefully, will that will give us what we're after here. So to do that, when I have got I set my weight for when it's zero, when I want it to be zero, to a negative number. And I set my one where I want it to be a one, which is there, and that on x2 to be a one there. And I've got what I wanted, which is that. I can apply the same trick to this neuron. I've set this up already so that this time it's going to take the weights from here, but it's exactly the same formula that's being used here. But this time I want the one to happen for this combination. So I'm going to set W1's weight, it's going to do X1's, which is W1, to be one. 
and the other one, weight 2, to be minus 1. And we've got what we wanted here. So this matches what we've got wanted here. This one matches what we wanted here. Now we're after the whole thing. So we're going to take the output from here, well, the output from here really, but the output from here, and they become inputs to here. So to do that, I've just said, basically, take what's there, that becomes the first one, and second one, and so on. So with this, imp th this input here is the output from that first neuron. This one here, I've done the same thing, but for this set of outputs. So these are our new inputs to this neuron. So these are fed into this, and we need to combine them together. Well, to do that, we can make an OR, which looks like that. So just to show they are linked, you know, if I put something like that in there, I get a different behavior. So let's put that back. I've got my exclusive OR. 